Well, folks, today the streets are looking cold. Make sure you fasten your seat belts because it's gonna get bumpy. Coming in at our number 11 spot. Let's go for 11 likes on the video, Kai G, because uh, at our number 11 spot, the top G, uh, the top G, man, the top G. Andrew Tate has detention extended for the third time. I mean, damn, man, this story is so wild. But before they extended to February, and now they're extending it to March. They're really getting their cheeks clapped here, ladies and gentlemen. And this story is so wild that we're now hearing that the the two Romanian women that were also arrested alongside the Tate brothers, they are being let go. <gasps> Instead, uh, they will be released from custody and instead kept under house arrest. Hey, I yo. mean, damn, sir. Like, y'all really doing that? That is so wild. It's a crime being a man in this day and age. If you're a man, you're wrong. And I'm just so strong. I'm independent. I made a dedicated video on this one. Definitely check that out on the channel, guys. But this story goes to show you that you don't want to chase that pom pom, guys. Chasing that pom pom can lead a man to dangerous places. <laughs> but also, State of Play is back. We're hearing that we're going to be getting a Sony Pony State of Play on Thursday day at 1 p.m. Pacific. I will surely be live streaming, so hit the bell because we're hearing that we're going to be getting five new PSVR 2 titles from Partners, Hot Indie, and Third Party Reveals, an extended look at Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. Are we also going to be getting maybe Spider-Man 2? The chances are very slim. In, in, in fact, we're probably not going to see at this point. The massive look would be Suicide Squad. I just don't understand why we're not seeing Spider-Man 2, knowing the fact that that game is supposed to come out this year. Maybe they're really going to be doing a full-blown PlayStation Sony Pony showcase event. We'll, we'll see. And we got a lot of Sony Pony and Eggbox news in this video, so stick around for that one. But real quick, this video is gonna hit you in the feels. Roll it. It's a blessing. Don't ever feel bad for me. Don't ever fucking feel bad for me. I am so happy this happened to me. So don't, so don't get it twisted. You can't be fun. Sorry for yourself all the time, man. I mean, you gotta learn the lesson. There's a reason this happened to me. We love to see it, okay? The homie can finally press X and he can jump, man. That is beautiful, guys. They really grow up so fast. But one in the chat, if you actually grew up watching the Face Clan videos, the Black Ops 2 videos too, if you're just getting to the point where you're finally able to put Riot Shield. You know that mom meme, right? Where the mom thinks that it will not affect my child, but then a decade later, not only that the child is using a Riot Shield in Call of Duty, he's dead ass using an overkill in Call of Duty. I just cannot even compute that, man. My, 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 I, 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 also, shout out to the homie Ellie for adding me in this situation. And Face Ring says that I'm dead on the face stuff soon. And new videos coming, especially on my vlog channel. I love you all so much. I want to use everything I went through to empower myself and the best influence on my community as I can be. And we also have a massive cat fight happening between Amaranth and Indy Fox. You might want to buckle up. You might want to hide your lives. You might also want to put your kids to beds because, guys, it is going to be bumpy tonight, okay? So she, Amaranth, and everyone else are doing more high dopamine stuff, the haram stuff, than ever, said Indie Fox, okay, that used to be doing these streams. I mean, goddamn, uh, those lamps in the background do be kind of good, right? Uh, hey! And essentially, banned streamer Indie Fox explains why she was really banned and how Twitch is more high dopamine and haram than ever. And this situation is so wild because Dixerito made a story on her and she responded by saying that she didn't bait me. She is uh, speaking directly to Amaranth. She's saying that Amaranth didn't bait her. That's what I'm getting. Maybe she was talking about someone else, but, yeah, but it seems like it's Amaranth because she says that I was perma bean for camel toe while I was doing normal ASMR. It's never normal ASMR with y'all bimbos, okay? Normal ASMR a week after we were banned simultaneously for the leak ASMR stuff. See what I was saying? See what I was saying? It's never normal, guys. Never normal ASMR. Lick ASMR stuff. My own partner manager told me they normally would only ban for 24 hours for this, but they decided to perm a ban. Yo, WRL, let me know, okay? Her saying she pulled back is an absolute joke. So here she's talking about Amaranth. She did, and everyone else are doing more high dopamine stuff than ever. The only difference is it's normalized now. My friends send me clips every day of her doing ban worthy stuff, but nobody cares because they know she will never be banned. Unfortunately, nobody actually cares about the story. Dick Serto banned them all, make no sense. She sound like a hero for sure. And quickly after, people start catching her in 4K because one cameraman was around the streets and this is what he captured. She says, I'm ashamed to say Twitch is a platform that support lazy females selling their bodies for cash. You are teaching little girls to sell, uh, hey, 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 
because that's what's popular. Make them wear t-shirts and pants compete on the same playing field as men. Feminism is equality, strong, independent, spread the word. Now, here's the thing, right? I do agree with the, the first part, but this is hypocritical as F, right? She was doing the same when she was not Bane, and the second she got Bane, now she's saying the truth. I mean, I'm glad she's saying the truth, uh, but I don't know about the last part. I mean, strong and independent... I mean, strong and independent, I guess, uh, we, we love to see it, folks. And also, just a few hours before the disaster, I will talk about the disaster. We're talking about the Sony ponies and the Xbox, okay? Everybody, gather on, okay? Gather on. It's definitely gonna start WW5 in the comment section over this shiza, but just a few hours before the Microsoft and Activision and Sony Nintendo meeting, Brad Smith came out in the middle of the night. He says that we've now signed a binding 10-year contract to bring Xbox games to Nintendo gamers. Uh, toxic gamers, uh, this is just part of our commitment to bring Xbox games and Activision titles like Call of Duty to more players on more platforms. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm shaking. Oh, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. <laughs> and quickly after some of the homies got hit in the G spot, other homies were saying that, bro, like it's gonna be five FPS on Nintendo. Some people also started saying that, bro, like the deal hasn't even gone through, right? You're doing that just so you have more chances to win this case and absolutely they're gonna do everything they can that that's their job and sony's job is to defend that and make sure the deal don't go through that's what sony is gonna do and obviously microsoft is gonna persist but i gotta agree man like bringing it on nintendo that means that some of the nintendo gamers and also the toxic gamers obviously they want to label us as toxic and problematic all the time so surely all the toxic gamers are gonna have more avenues and more routes to be more toxic i definitely see that as a w let me know your thoughts but check this out right before we go down to disasters also another disaster meta has announced a meta verified a new paid subscription service like twitter blue that will get users a blue badge extra impersonation protection and more so guys yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to understand, okay? Check this out, right? As the homie Ethan came out, uh, Elon Musk was actually cooking that real good, right? That's the blue verified on Twitter. Was very hard to get back in the days, but nowadays you can just pay like a couple of dollars to Elon Musk and now you can get that blue badge. But Mark Zuckerberg was around the street, okay? He was peeking and he was definitely copying that homework. But guys, if you have seen that Mr. Bean episode, drop a thumbs up. And the funniest thing is that it is more expensive than Twitter blue. It is $12, just get Get out of here with that 99 bow squash, okay? It's not 11.99. It's $12, okay? It's $12 on web and it is $15 on iOS. I mean, damn, man. Bruh. In this day and age, I can surely see YouTube having a similar thing. I mean, they already do, duh. But I can surely see YouTube having a new premium option where you have to pay like $50 to even upload the YouTube videos. It's probably gonna happen, folks, but they're rolling the service out in Australia and New Zealand this week. So shout out to the homies in Australia and New Zealand. Go on, New Zealand, go Australia. If you're in Australia, if you're in New Zealand, let me know your thoughts, okay? You guys liking that? Let me know. They're also asking for people ids and my god they don't want to see if you're looking cute today or not they simply want to spy on you they simply want to know if you look like you are somebody that can continue your bloodline or not they they will look at your photo and they will know how many times you have done easter eggs are, are you gonna be able to continue your bloodline Bruh. are you gonna be able to make a soccer team are you gonna be able to make a cricket team they, they gotta find out and i do know some people call it football not soccer here they call it soccer, okay? So don't cancel me, okay? Also, two weeks ago, we learned that we're gonna be getting a brand new Call of Duty this year. Yep, guys, uh, every every year, new Call of Duty. A lot of people just couldn't even compute. A lot of people went into coma. And a lot of people that never kept up with any sort of like Call of Duty rumors and leaks, they were like, oh wow, oh wow, we knew, we knew already. New year, new Call of Duty, right? And essentially now we had a massive leak and this happened back in December. And only now we're finding out, we're finding out that, yeah, Activision have 240 bundles. I'm not even capping. 240 bundles planned for Modern Warfare 2, but only seven maps. We're gonna be getting seven maps that includes rehashes. Deadass! I actually made a dedicated video on that one. Check this out after on the channel. I'll link you at the end. So they really planned that Shiza guys. Seven core maps that includes remakes for Modern Warfare 2, but at least, they specifically chose the word, at least another 240 bundles, but seven core maps, which uh, will most likely contain rehashes. <laughs> rehashes of older maps that we are expecting, yeah. We love you, Activision. You are the best. 
and we're essentially hearing that the next Call of Duty project code name is Project Jupiter, and it's gonna be made by Sledgehammer, my boss, Sledgehammer Games, yet the same company that made Van Garbage that Slushy apparently loves. I mean, Slushy is just wrong. Like, it, it, it. But also, Microsoft confirmed and they committed to bring Xbox games, including Call of Duty, to GeForce now. They're definitely telling the EU guys, we do not do helicopters with our release. When we say we're gonna bring games to the gamers, we truly mean that. So they're signing 10 year deals with Nintendo, but not just Nintendo, with GeForce, with Nvidia. They're also saying that they're gonna be bringing it for the PlayStation gamers for at least 10 years. But Sony and the UK CMA and even the FTC, they're not convinced. They're saying that, guys, if you want to get Activision, if you want to get Activision, you need to actually give us in writing. You will never make Call of Duty exclusive, not after 10 years. It should be permanent, okay? It should permanently be non-exclusive. It should be on all platforms, not just a 10-year deal. And the UK CMA gave Microsoft three different options. Number one, they said that don't buy Activision. <laughs> just don't buy it. Secondly, you can get Activision, but not Call of Duty. Third of all, you can get Activision Call of Duty, but you gotta tell us uh, that you're never gonna make Call of Duty exclusive. Stop with that 10-year deal, and uh, Microsoft says that it is not feasible or realistic to carve out Call of Duty or another Activision Blizzard division to get the deal done. Microsoft wants all of ABK or nothing, Activision Blizzard or nothing. And that makes sense, right? When you paid $70 billion, you want the entire package, right? That's a no-brainer. And this situation got so wild. This is dead ass from today's E you call where uh, Charlie Angel said that lol Microsoft president was literally holding up the Sony 10 year Call of Duty deal during the press conference today. You can see this image is from Eurogamer. They got 80% PlayStation, 20% Xbox, and we got Brad Smith actually presenting on the stage. This is truly wild. This is all because of Call of Duty. Microsoft won Call of Duty. Sony don't want to let them have it. This is all happening because of Call of Duty, y'all. And we have this baddie out here just taking those 4K pictures out there and homie out here with the with those uh, with those hands, like, uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, uh, doing that. And everybody's kind of tired, right? Like, uh, homie's kind of sleeping I, I don't know what's happening y'all we even have activision executives uh lulu chang uh she actually started memeing the entire <laughs> entire situation uh, you can see that sony uh refuses to accept guaranteed long-term access to call of duty uh what if we lose access to call of duty yeah absolutely guys we love to see it but click on this video on the screen because the next call of duty ended up getting leaked out click on this video or click the video on the left because they are officially removing it guys we got a bunch of stories they don't want you seeing that Check these videos out, guys, and I will see you right there.